So CarPlay is Apple's answer to your in-car um, GPS. It's pretty much your tablet in the car. It's actually pretty interesting. So it's obviously good. They're going to have apps, um, much like so Spotify. You'll be able to interact with your car via your cell phone and or in-car connectivity. I'm sure sooner or later, all of our cars will become mobile hotspots anyway, and we'll just stream internet to everyone as we drive by. But it, it it's supposed to bridge the gap, and it's also supposed to keep it's supposed to allow more capabilities and I was going to lead into this. There was, there were a link that, um, that, that uh, Mikey had as well, but um, it, it's pretty much like an in-car system that's mm-hmm. supposed to kind of be more user friendly. I don't know if you've used any of these systems. Like in, in my car, it's like you can change the radio station, but you have to hit a button and then you actually have to know, I think actually the, the number of the station or whatever. So it, it's not the best interface. Yeah. I, it seems like Apple's going to put their stamp on it. I, I rode with somebody on a, on a road trip to Philly. And I think it was a Mustang with one of these built in. And I thought he was going to wreck the car. Um, <laughs> and that's, that's, that's actually it's... Microsoft and Microsoft. Or yeah. Ford uses Microsoft. Ford is leaving Microsoft. Mm-hmm. And I'm hearing they're going to put QNX in which leads into the the link that you just had up. So from what I'm hearing and and what they're saying today is CarPlay actually relies on QNX and QNX is a BlackBerry technology. Wow. Is QNX (laughs) typically in cars already? So that was the big reason that BlackBerry actually bought QNX. It was kind of like a Linux Unix company. Okay. And their operating system was actually built to be low powered, it was it, it's extremely efficient, and it's actually one of the things it was designed for was car systems. Um, BlackBerry bought them because um, of it being Linux Unix based. They knew that they could get Android apps on there, mm-hmm. and also they knew that um, they needed to come out with a tablet, so they came out with the BlackBerry Playbook, yeah. the brand QNX that. Uh, well, then they said that no one needs a, a tablet because obviously no one bought theirs, so no one must need a tablet. But anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, so so yeah, it's it, it's actually probably one of the technology companies that BlackBerry owns that BlackBerry technically could continue to live off of because I, I think you're going to see, especially in car technologies, one of the things that car technology has an issue with is updates and staying current. So most of the technologies you would have seen in a car are probably were developed five years ago and then put into the car. And now you're going to carry it forward for another five to 10 years. So by the time you're done, it's a 10 year old technology between this OS and another, like another vendor sitting on top of it, like Apple. And then, um, like the, the car we just got has a connection to, I think it's actually Verizon based to get software updates and stuff like that. Now you're, now you're, your heart, your software in your car can be updated over the air. Are you also watching the network over there? No. Me? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just saw her do the guest <laughs> chant. So I'm, I'm, I'm Brian, Daniel Bryan's on my screen. No, we're not distracted at all. <laughs> I was I was distracted by Twitter. Yeah, there's a lot of Twitter happening right now. <laughs> um, awesome, uh, and this is of course uh, higher end cars from the looks of things. I'm seeing Volvos and and Mercedes Benz and, and everything like that. So I mean, it's not like yeah, it, it, it's extremely high end cars to begin with. Yeah, and then I think um, Honda, Hyundai. There there was a slew of cars after the fact. So, so eventually, then... am I going to get in my Buick? Yes. Good. I, I think, and, and maybe it's not necessarily Apple's exact, but you're going to get something like this. I think sooner or later, all cars are pretty much going to become standard mm. with something like this. Because I think it's going to bridge the gap of looking at your phone. I don't know. There was that lawsuit that was just finalized in California where they actually say it's legal to look at your phone for a map. Um. So I, I think it's going to just become kind of a safety feature 
and that's how they're going to tout it. So I, I think you'll see all cars having this sooner or later, probably a little bit before they all drive themselves.